Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today we're going to be doing an Ulta haul and first impressions video. So I recently went to Ulta just last night and picked up a bunch of products, mostly ColourPop, which I'm going to be testing out today because I've never used ColourPop products before and I was super excited to find that they had a little stand of it at my local Ulta. So I picked up a bunch of products, I'm going to show you guys everything I got and then we're going to test out pretty much everything today in this video so we get to see kind of a haul and first impressions. So if you want to see um, my first impressions of these products and how I use them to get this makeup video then please keep watching. So here's everything I got at Ulta, so I'll walk you through all the products really quickly. First off, I picked up this Morphe Highlight and Contour Sponge. I wanted one with a flat edge so I could try out baking. So I'm going to do that in another video just because I'm actually getting ready for work this morning, so I don't really have like a ton of time to try out these new techniques. But I also repurchased the LA Girl Shady Slim Brow Pencil in the shade Brunette. This is one of my favorite brow products and it's drugstore super affordable I love this that LA girl was only $5.99 and then I also picked up another brow product that was how much was this this one was $5.50 so even cheaper this is the ColourPop boss Bay or brow boss um, and this is in the shade I believe ash brunette ash brown and this looked really good I there was a taupe shade but a lot of times the taupe shade is just like too orangey for me even though it's supposed to be neutral so I picked up ash brown because that sounds like the perfect shade for me like I want it to be a cool toned brown so we're gonna try this out and it has a really nice spoolie on the end there wasn't one to swatch so hopefully this isn't too dark but I just really went ham Oops, these are rolling away I really went ham in the um, color pop section and just tried out everything because I had no idea that Ulta color carries color pop now and I've always wanted to try color pop but so, such, since it's such an affordable price point I just never feel like compelled to like make an online order because I'm like oh, it's only a $5 thing. I'm not going to pay $5 and $5 in shipping to get it or whatever, you know? So it just never made sense to me. But I was super excited because they had the highlighters and this is the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek and this is in the shade Flexitarian. And this is one that you guys recommended. I did a video about um, highlighters that are good for fair skin and tons of you said that um, this was a really good one. People recommended this. So I'm going to try this out. I'm super excited. It looks super beautiful. I swatched all the highlighters and this was definitely my favorite shade. So I think you guys were right. And then I've also like always, always, always wanted to try a ColourPop eyeshadow. So I got this one. This is the Super Shock Shadow, which is an ultra glitter in the shade Amaze, which just looked like a really nice, like warm, bronzy kind of taupey shade, I guess. Um, this, these shadows just always look beautiful. They're so aesthetically pleasing. So I'm really pumped to try this, but I was swatching them and they all just seemed kind of glittery and not that pigmented, but I don't know if that's just because the sample ones had like been out for so long. I don't know. And then I also picked up their no filter concealer. I've been wanting to try a new concealer and this one was only, how much was this concealer? Um, this was 650, I think. Was it? Yeah, it was only $6.50. That highlighter was $8 and the eyeshadow was $6. So everything was just so affordable. I was just like honestly shocked. So I got the shade Fair 08 and I was between this and I think the shade lighter Fair 6. But this one looks really light and I think this will be a good um, shade for me. The packaging again is just gorgeous on this. So I can't wait to try these and I'm really excited about ColourPop. And then the last thing I got was another L Lancome lip product. This is one of their... Um, Lipsticks, this is the Absolute Rouge in the shade 250 Beige Mirage, and this is a cream finish lipstick. I've just been loving Lancome lip products lately, and the packaging is just beautiful. Oh, so satisfying. And it's just a really nice, like, nudie beige color, which I have probably like 100 lipsticks that are the shade, but I'm sure this formula is incredible. So if you want to see me try out these products, I'm going to try out all the ColourPop and this one. I'll save the LA Girl because I've used that before, and the Morphe for another video because... Ain't nobody got time to be baking while I'm getting ready for work. Oh my gosh, I started my eye makeup, but I forgot to clip my hair back with my professional makeup artist hair clips here. So I'm going to do that really quick. And then um, I started my eye makeup, but I'm ready to go in with my ColourPop shadow. And honestly, the ColourPop eyeshadows, these are just like the most beautiful single eyeshadows ever. The embossing on them is just super beautiful. And there's just such a weird, indescribable, like moussey wet but powdery texture so i think i'm gonna go in with just my finger oh my gosh i don't even want to swatch this it's ruining the embossing already how sad okay but i just got some on my ring finger there oh my gosh this is way more pigmented than the swatch in the store i'm so pleased i had a feeling that the swatches there were just like dried out because i just had them sitting open without the lid on yeah that's like a really beautiful full-on foily bronzy shade this is super beautiful I'm interested to see how this formula wears throughout the day because it's just such an interesting texture like honestly it feels like wet and powdery when you dip your finger in there but then like when you're applying it it just like turns into a powder and doesn't feel wet at all it's 
but it's super comfortable and soft. I just love it. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish my eye makeup and then we'll catch back up, I think, with concealer. So I have my foundation blended on and sorry, I'm sure you can hear the gardeners outside. It's pretty loud, they're getting closer to my window. Hold on, let me shut the window. Okay, hopefully it sounds a little better. Um, but anyway, I have my foundation on, and by the way, I'll leave all the products that I'm using um, that aren't part of the haul like listed down below in case you're curious. So we can go in with my ColourPop concealer. This feels really nice on the skin so far. So I'll just start with that under the eyes, and then I'm gonna take my Damp Beauty Blender just to blend it out here with the corner. I think this was an okay shade. The one lighter definitely would have been super light. So if you have super fair skin, check out ColourPop concealers because there's definitely some lighter options like this was shade 8 so there was like a bunch lighter than this so if you're super fair could be a good color match while I was in Ulta I was trying to swatch the um, Too Faced Born This Way like sculpting concealer that everyone's raving about and I swatched the lightest shade and it was straight yellow it was really light but it was literally straight yellow like if I put that under my eyes I would look sickly and then the next shade up was like a deep tan so there was just not a good color match so I was really glad that I got this ColourPop concealer because I was wanting to try that um, Too Faced concealer, but ColourPop just stole me away. Okay, so far this concealer looks really good in full coverage. It's a really bright, light color. Um, and in this range, the one above this also went from like this super fair, almost white shade to like a deep tan. Like there was kind of a dramatic jump in the ones they had on display at Ulta anyway. So I think this looks okay. It's actually setting pretty like matte, which I don't mind because I have oily skin, but just something to keep in mind in case you have dry skin. Um, this is seeming really like not super hydrating, but we'll see throughout the day. I, again, I won't like it matte. So I'm gonna set this with my um, Laura Mercier translucent powder. I'm just going to pack some on my little shader brush here from the lid of my Laura Mercier. And then I'm gonna make sure all the creases are Blend it out, look up, stay looking up, and try to set this. Okay, so far I like this concealer. Again, it's a little dry looking. It is looking like slightly creepy under my eyes, but for an $8 concealer, it is pretty full coverage, and I think the color match was good, so can't be mad. Okay, I'm pretty sure there's some awful background noise going on because now I, there's construction going on in the neighborhood and the gardener, so there's just some really loud sounds. But I just finished my blush and my bronzer, so I'm going to go in with Flexitarian, which is the super shock cheek this is like another really weird texture i don't know if you're supposed to apply this with a brush or a finger or a sponge i'm gonna go in with my favorite highlight brush just to start i don't know if this is is this how you do this i don't know is this gonna pick it up i'm so confused with the texture of these you guys tell me your favorite way to apply these okay this is super beautiful i don't know if the brush was the right call though it's looking a little patchy but I really like the color and the shine. This is a really nice light highlighter. Again, really nice for fair skin and they had four shades. Some of them were darker. Okay, but that looks super beautiful. Hopefully you can see the highlight there. And this eyeshadow is like super glittery. So I don't know if this was really the right choice for a casual day at the office, but I'm just extra like that so we're gonna rock with it. Okay, highlight's done and now we're going to do the brows and this is again the ColourPop Brow Boss. So I'm gonna try out their spoolie. I'm really hoping it isn't weak and awful like the ones on the Anastasia Brow Wiz, which like I just don't understand. They need to fix that problem of the spoolies always breaking off. Okay, now we're gonna go in with this color. It looks really dark, I'm really scared. This might have been the wrong choice. So I'm just going to lightly fill in because I have a feeling this is a little bit dark. Okay, but the tone of this is perfect. This is what I like. I like a cool tone brow. I'm a cool tone blonde. I don't want any oranginess in my brows. I wanna be like cool toned platinum with like dark cool toned brows. I think that look is so pretty. And okay, I'm really actually happy with this shade. So I just finished filling in my brows and I'm really, really pleased with this color. I'm just gonna go back through with the spoolie to try to make them look a little bit more natural, especially at the fronts here. And oh my gosh, now the gardener's literally right there. Hopefully you can hear anything I'm saying. This was just inconvenient timing for the video, but I have to film now because I wanted to try these products and I wanted to show you guys my first impressions. So now I'm just sitting it with my NYX um, Control Freak Brow Gel. And I just really like how these turned out. So far, super pleased with all my purchases. We'll have to see how um, all these products like wear throughout the day, but so far so good. And for the price, I think it's great. So finally for lips, I'm going to go in with my Lancome lipstick, which I'm super excited about. And I'm going to use my Lancome lip liner first. This is the one in Ideal. Okay, so lip liner's on. Time for lipstick. 
And oh, I hate messing up the lipstick when it's perfect. Look how beautiful it is, but it must be done. I just love Lancome lipstick formulas, like all their lip product formulas, it just glides on like perfectly. Like it's not patchy at all. You don't even have to like rub your lips together or anything. I think this color is really good. I probably should have tried it without the lip liner so you guys could kind of see like the true nudie tone of it, but I'll swatch on the back of my hand maybe. It's just like a nice light nudie. It looks a lot deeper with that um, liner underneath, but I really like this and it feels really moisturizing. It's like a nice satin creamy finish and there's lipstick all over my teeth. Cool. All right, but that's it for my first impressions and Ulta haul video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this video and enjoyed seeing all the ColourPop products and this Lancome lippy. Um, let me know how you guys use these ColourPop um, shadows and highlighters because the texture is just so new to me that I'm really interested to try them a bunch of different ways. But first impressions of all the products is I actually love everything. Super pleased with everything I got. Um, of course, we'll see how they wear throughout the day. I'm super curious about this eyeshadow and highlighter if it's gonna kind of disappear. This lipstick feels really moisturizing. The brow product turned out, I think, okay. Hopefully it doesn't look too dramatic and dark on camera. We'll see. But as always, let me guys know what you guys think in the comments down below. I hope you enjoyed this video. I am uploading two days a week on Monday and Thursday. So please subscribe if you haven't already so that you don't miss my next video. And thank you so much for watching.